Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1532. Hey, we got to talk about how to get VLOOKUP to return an entire record. Here's the lookup value. I need to get a match and then pull the whole record down. Now we're going to see three options, rows, columns, and sequence functions all inside of VLOOKUP to help us deliver the record. Now if we go over to 1532, the question is, do we want to display the record horizontally or vertically? Now if we're displaying it vertically, the third argument in VLOOKUP is column index number. Well, for this ID in this cell right here, I need column number 2. When I get down to the next cell, I need column number 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Similarly up here, same problem. The third argument internally inside the formula, I need to generate the number 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now when we're using VLOOKUP and copying it horizontally across the columns or copying it down across the rows, we have two different methods to generate internally the numbers 2, 3, 4, and so on. If we're copying across the columns, then we use the columns function. We use the one with the S. Now columns is simple. If I highlight three cells across the range D to F, it'll count the columns D, E, and F and return a 3. So internally inside our array argument, I need an expandable range. So in this cell, I get the number 2, 3, 4, and so on. Well, we're sitting in cell C10. So I type dollar sign C10, colon C10. The dollar sign says the C column is locked. So when I copy the formula to the side, it remains on C. But that C does not have a dollar sign. So it'll move to D and then E and so on. Control Enter. Copy it to the side. And if we pick any particular cell and hit F2, sure enough, that C is locked, but the C was allowed to move to E. So now we're counting the column C to E, and we get a 3. Now we really want 2, 3, 4, and so on. So in the first cell, I'm simply going to add 1. Control Enter, copy it to the side. And so that'll work in the third argument of VLOOKUP. After the equal sign before columns, VL and tab. Our lookup value is going to be the ID. And I'm going to lock it with the F4 key, comma. Table array, this is an Excel table. So when I highlight the interior part, it puts the correct table name in, comma. And there it is. There's our columns formula element to generate the correct column numbers as we copy to the side. Now I come to the end comma. This is exact match, so we put false or zero. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Copy it to the side. Now we have to format this. Date. Currency. And now if I change this to a different ID, I get my record extracted. Now we can actually use the same formula down here, Control C, Escape. Well, almost the same. In edit mode, Control V, I can't use columns, because that's only when you're copying to the side. So I'm going to double click and use the rows function. Also, I no longer want to lock the C. I want to lock the 10. So that means rows is counting how many rows there are. 10 to 10 is 1, plus 1 is 2. But of course, that 10 doesn't have a dollar sign. So when it gets to the next cell, it counts from 10 to 11, which is 2 plus 1. Control Enter and copy it down. And I added some formatting. Now if I change the record, it doesn't matter, horizontal or vertical. Here we use columns. Here we use rows. Now there's another way we can do this. And this method requires that you have Office 365. And in Office 365, there's a great new set of dynamic array functions. 
And sequence is one of these. Its job is to generate a sequence of numbers. Now, we want to not spill this down across the rows. So I hit comma. We want to spill it across the columns. And how many columns are we trying to fill? Five, comma. What's the start number? Two, because that's the second column. And we leave step out because the default is one. Now close parentheses. These new dynamic arrays are completely different than anything we've had in the 35 years of Excel history. When I hit Enter, it not only generates the numbers, but it automatically spills them to the correct number of cells. When I hit Enter, that's number formatting, but we can clearly see 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Those are the perfect column numbers for VLOOKUP. Now these dynamic arrays, if I click in the first cell, that's where I entered the formula, that's where the formula lives. Each subsequent formula you can see is grayed out, so it doesn't live in that cell. You're still allowed to refer to it, but the formula doesn't actually live there. And here's where it gets even more amazing, because sequence is spilling multiple items when I put it inside of VLOOKUP. There's the lookup value. And I don't have to hit F4 because the formula lives in this cell and just spills, comma, the table, just like we did earlier, comma. And there in column index number, because it's spilling, it will instruct VLOOKUP to spill also comma, zero, close parentheses. And when I hit Enter, you are not going to believe that. It totally retrieves the correct record. Now, F2. We can leave a 5 hard-coded in, but because that information actually comes from the count of these columns, I'm going to go ahead and put in columns all the way from C3 to G3. Now columns will deliver a 5. And when I hit Enter, that is totally amazing. Now we can use this. Same formula and change just a few things. Copy in Edit Mode, Escape. Down here in Edit Mode, Control-V. Now I want to double click and point lookup value to that cell right there. And notice that that argument there tells sequence to spill across the columns. Backspace. I want to spill down across the rows. But be careful, that 2 really is start. And I don't want anything in columns, so I have to type a comma. But that formula will work to spill vertically down across the rows. And if I change the lookup value, that is totally amazing. All right, let me know in the comments below, do you like this new amazing sequence function? Or do you like the good old standby, which we've had for decades, columns or rows? All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.